So dadgad tuning is one of the most commonly used tunings for guitar, both electric and acoustic. And the reason is it's incredibly inspiring, it's fun to play, and it's been used to write some of the best songs ever put to tape. Now, whether you're a complete beginner or you've been playing for years, dadgad I think is something that we should all be experimenting with and learning about. So in today's video, I'm gonna teach you dadgad tuning. And rather than teach you certain songs or certain riffs, I'm gonna teach you how to actually play and write and improvise in this tuning. I'm gonna teach you some of my favorite chord shapes and how I use dadgad to come up with ideas all the time. So grab your guitar and we're gonna get it tuned up to dadgad. So the dadgad tuning is self-explanatory. As the name suggests, we're tuning our strings to D, A, D, G, A, D. And what's interesting about that is, like other open tunings, this is sort of a chord, meaning we're tuning our guitar to play a chord, but this is not major or minor. It's a D sus four kind of chord. And this leads me to my first point. Learn your basic chord shapes that you can move up and down the neck and you'll immediately be able to start playing in this tuning. So the first thing we're gonna look at is a basic power chord. Because our low three strings here, D, A, and D, make root, fifth, and root, we can bar anywhere from the six string root and play a power chord. So if you're playing electric, you can start to play in dadgad immediately. But from there, we can get to our basic major and minor chord voicings with a really simple shape. Uh, we're gonna use the sixth string as our root, and then we're gonna emphasize major or minor thirds, which is gonna be on our third string here. So because we've tuned our sixth string down a whole step to D, my G has moved up a whole step. So from the third fret to the fifth fret. So I have G right here. And then I'm gonna play a major third with my first finger right here, the B. And because we're in dadgad, I can play the rest of the open strings together and get this voicing. A really nice sort of luscious open G sound. Now, if I take that chord shape and move it up a whole step, I have A. And then since we're playing in the key of D here, if I go up to B, I need to make that minor because B is the sixth of the D major scale. So what I'm gonna do is take the major third here and drop it down a half step or one fret to make it minor, a minor third, and I get this. So right there we have our basic major and minor chord voicings. You can move that anywhere around the neck in the key of D or G or A and start playing in dadgad songs that you already know. Let's go back to G major for a second. We're gonna add one more note onto this chord, which is here. And in this chord shape, it's actually doubling the high D right here. But as we move this voicing around, it's gonna give us more interesting intervals with our chord shape. So if I move this shape up to the 12th fret, which is gonna give me another D major, just an octave up, listen to how this sounds. Versus this. That high A up here against that lower D is a really nice sound. So one really great way to learn these chord shapes up and down the neck is to play the D major scale, the D major harmonized scale. Now, if you've never heard of this before, I actually have a video course that you can check out in the description box down below called Fretboard Fundamentals, and it'll take you through all the basics behind guitar theory and harmony and understanding the fretboard. Uh, and since you're watching this video, you can get that video course for 30% off via the link in the description box down below. But what we're gonna do is start on our sixth string and we're gonna play a D major scale all the way up the neck, and then we're gonna add our chord voicings on top of that. So we're gonna start with D major, and again, because dadgad is a D sus four, we don't have a third here, we have the fourth. I'm gonna play the fifth right here, the A, and give just a D power chord. So that's my one. Now I'm gonna go to the two chord, which is E minor. Then the three chord, which is F sharp minor. Then G major, the four chord. Then A major, the five chord. 
B minor, the sixth chord. And then C sharp half diminished, which is the seven chord, but I'm just gonna play it like this. And then back to the one. Now the other cool thing about the dadgad tuning and the reason it's so popular, especially with sort of folk instrumentalists and songwriters and more indie songwriters a lot of times is the way you can play really interesting melodies from the pentatonic scale or the major scale using a lot of open strings. So I'm gonna play a D major scale just right here based off of the open position and you'll see what I mean. So what you can do to start off with an experiment is just play a lot of hammer-ons and pull-offs using those notes. It's like a pentatonic scale shape. Uh, if you know your minor pentatonic, you can immediately start playing some interesting melody ideas with the dadgad tuning. It's a lot of fun to experiment with, and one thing that I like to do when trying to come up with a melody based in that scale position is use some of the open strings. Let the strings ring out, kind of like a drone, and you can take it slower and maybe drop the pick, do it finger style. Now one of my favorite things about the dadgad tuning is using it to write. And there's no shortage of amazing songs out there that utilize this tuning. And I would encourage you to go out and learn some. Learn Kashmir, for example. The chord voicings and the way that Jimmy Page moves around this tuning is really, really great. But one of my favorite ways to use this tuning is just to improvise with it. Because you have this open D sus four chord, as long as you're playing root notes and a few chord tones, you're kind of safe. You can move up and down the neck really, really easily and get some interesting ideas that you might not think of in standard tuning. That's one of my main things I love about putting a guitar in an alternate tuning is it breaks you out of a rut. So one thing to start with is just throwing some different chords together. Take those simple chord shapes that we just learned and move them around up and down the neck and see what you stumble into. Right there, there's already an interesting chord progression that you could build on top of. And we got there by just throwing some of these simple chord shapes around. Another cool thing to do is instead of moving around on the neck, stay in one position, find a few chords or a few notes that work and try moving the bass line around like this. That already kind of sounds like a song, but you can experiment and add things on top of it. Try moving the top note around as well as the bass line. Another great way to use this tuning as a writing tool and to learn it is run a major scale like we did earlier up one string, but do it on a different string. And then once you land in a certain area, experiment with that area on the neck and see if you can come up with any interesting chord shapes. So here I've landed back on the root note D, but I'm in a different position, so I'm gonna kind of move around and see if I can find any interesting chords to play. So that's kind of a nice sound. Now I'm gonna experiment with just moving around this shape and combining it with different root notes on the sixth string and see what I come up with.
that's a look at Dadgad. Is this something that you use a lot or you're completely new to it? Let me know in the comments section down below. And don't forget while you're down there to check out the 30% off coupon for the Fretboard Fundamentals video course that I put out last year. If you want to learn the ins and outs of guitar theory and understand the fretboard, that is the course for you. I've also got some other courses down there as well as links to some of the gear that I use to make today's video. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe and click the like down below. It really helps the channel out. And uh, thank you for watching. My name is Rhett Scholl and remember there is no plan B.